What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's five some news, baby. It's take five some news that guy. Today, we got 64 mods on the testing list, and we got 12 modders to talk about, including new harvesters, tractors, and more heading our way. Check it out. Starting off with the mods and testing. Today we have 64 mods on the list. We got 25 in stage one or PC testing and 39 in stage two or console testing. Some notable PC mods include Loser 3500B, FOV control, and no more auto lift. Also with testing, we have the X7 VT drive track. We also have the Case IH Magnum 7200 Pro Series, 53 foot drop deck trailer with auto load and the flatbed monster truck. And your only map in PC testing today is Nova Estancia. Jumping down to console mods and testing, we have some notable ones like the flatbed service truck, Lizard Colossus Harvesters Pack, and Massey 3600 two-wheel drive. Also testing, average garages, so average, John Deere 90 skid steer loader, Clausarian 3000 saddle truck, and the Case IH Magnum 8900 series. Rounding out console testing, we've got the Flegel flatbed semi-trailer, Pioneer crop plates, repair place, D754 truck pack, and the John Deere 7030 premium series. And your maps and console testing include Hickory Valley, PGR Slona, and Rogue River Valley. With all that being said, we still have 193 mods any waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is about six work days. Jumping over to modern news, Agritono have made more progress on their new Holland CS Combine Harvester, with the mod going through its first in-game test. So far, all we've seen is the combine with no logos, and we're not even sure if it's going to come with any headers or tools, but it has made a lot of progress in just a few short days, so I'm sure we'll see some more on this soon. HR Forest have submitted another mod for testing for all platforms, the Clambunk Forwarder, versions of the Rotna, Ponzi, and Komatsu machines that we've got in the game. And the Rotna and Ponzi Forwarders will have winches on them. Not sure why the Komatsu won't, but you will need the Platinum DLC to make them work regardless. Either way, they're all going to have different customization options and colors, and since they feature a new clam bunk, that'll also be able to rotate freely or be held in place, allowing you to use them how you need to. Also, the trees will automatically be fixed in place when you close the clam. No need to strap them down, kind of like the way it's done with the DLC stuff. A very cool setup for those of you looking for more forestry machines to use. As we talked about yesterday, BC Bueller Farms Kilbro's auger was submitted for testing over the weekend. He has submitted it for all platforms in mind and thinks that it should go through since Kilbro's is owned by Unverfirth, which is a licensed brand in the game. Either way, I will keep you updated on this project once more information is available. And secondly from BC Bueller Farms, I teased yesterday that he was working on a new mod and here it is. Well, the start of it anyway, I think this is the front. He called it Project 6. Although with these colors, I mean, this is a versatile, right? It's gotta be. It seems the comments of the videos think so too, with an overwhelming majority guessing versatile designation 64 wheel drive. And that's what I think it is too. Rooster Mods continues to make progress on his Parker 6500 grain car today. The model is in game and things are moving forward. The mod is fully functional with texturing, animations, and decal work still left to be done. This will be his third Parker mod and the first auger wagon that he's done. Very excited to see this one in our mod folders for all platforms. IJ Creative Design is back with us today with some more information on his Lizard AW trailer. The mod did fail testing yesterday morning on a few things. The mod will need to be completely retextured from scratch though, which is going to take some time. Additionally, he has also got another mod in this picture, the Agri Weld 1500 kilogram weight. The mod has already gone through its first round of testing and is waiting on its second right now. This will be a PC only mod by the looks of it. However, crossplay version will be coming later on once PC is out, likely Lizard branded. Earlier this month, we talked about a new planter coming from Surfertex, and today we get to see some more screenshots of the progress. Currently though, real life is getting in the way of him making quick work of it, but he has finished the rough remodeling work and next is mapping. Once that's all done, he'll refit each chassis for the amount of lines, and he says that these renders aren't exactly what he would like to share with us right now, but it's where he's at. It's a great reminder that every modder out there just does this for fun in their spare time, but they're still getting it done. Modders are awesome. Quick one from Gamer Designs today. He's been using 82 Studios color palette with permissions for his past few mods, but he wants to start working on his own color set. He's asking what you guys would like to see in that palette for his future mods. I'm thinking different shades of toothpaste tractor, but that's probably not exciting for literally anyone else playing the game other than me. So what do you think would be awesome to see in Gamer Designs new color palette? Let him know via the link below. Oh, and 82 Studio chimed in showing off a new screenshot of his TLX 1982 saying, I'm experimenting with something different. 
soon to be revealed. Oh boy, I can't wait. Last week, MacTracker921 asked if you would like to see some scratch grains being added to the feed types in Eastern North Carolina for chickens. And today, we get to see how he's gonna make it happen. It's gonna work like TMR with cows with a mixing station for the chicken feed. It's gonna take crack corn, wheat, barley, sorghum, it's sunflowers and it will make scratch grains it'll be a placeable included in the productions tab of eastern north carolina for all platforms it will only be part of this map for now as new feed types and crops are map specific if they want to stay crossplay compatible i think this is a really neat idea and would bring a lot of players more options in the game and such a great map as well oh i can't wait for this also one quick update for mag trucker his service truck did fail testing yesterday but it's already been fixed resubmitted and as you saw it's back in testing today i've had a few questions about this truck as it was removed shortly after its release a few weeks ago hopefully players don't have to wait too much longer to see it in game it may be released today who knows oh and uh, congratulations as well to mag trucker it's six million downloads on the mod hub that's insane this is an epic accomplishment well deserved you earned it dude speaking of quick updates fsg modding say that the red barn pack did fill testing yesterday as well but they're fixing up and will resubmit it for testing as quickly as possible and speaking of modders the hit milestones poor boy modding also just hit 1 million downloads on the mod up super proud of you bro but that's not all we also have a description and feature set for his upcoming black mountain map welcome to montana the big sky country this map uses real life world terrain from the big flat area near Missoula, Montana. I think I said that right. Most of the map is mountainous forests and some flat farmland in the northeast as well. It is a forestry map with limited farming. The cows, sheep, pigs, and chickens are all on the map and they are enough arable fields for single player to make a living at farming. Black Mountain 22 offers two new crops, alfalfa and black bean. It also features soybean straw and corn straw. Corn straw is added to pigs and cows for feed. Several new fill types, including coal, gravel, dirt, and others. Carpentry makes shingles, staircases, and prefab walls. The sawmill does chips and bark. Bark is used to make charcoal, or you can sell it. The farm is completely sellable. 90% of the fences are sellable. Soybeans, sugar beets, potatoes, and corn have new textures. Soybeans are now in rows and much more. He's put a lot of work into this map, and it's going to be a lot of fun once it's released. A few months ago, we talked about Mapper's Paradise working on a placeables pack dedicated to super shoes with all rewards for Mod Hub going to charity. And today, that mod pack has started testing, one of which is a chess board so that farms and players can play chess in Farm Sim. Other modders have stepped in to help out as well, including Connect Modding, Universe Simu Modding, Mickey Mapper, and No Bikes. This pack will be for all platforms. Super Shoes is a charity that concentrates on cancer awareness with their main focus aimed at young teens and children and all their well-being, especially during treatment stages. And lastly today, Taylor Farms has released the Frankenmuth 4X version for PC players. He hopes that you guys enjoy the map and have fun playing on it and if you find any issues drop him a line on his facebook page he also thanks the community for their continued support since farm sim 22 released the map does appear that it may have an issue with some harvesting contracts and he does ask that you report those as well in detail so he can get them fixed if they exist the map is based on a real life location northwest of frankenmuth michigan Field layouts are closely resembling of the area, 120 fields, six pre-built farms, and there's plenty to keep you guys busy. You can download the map via right now in the link in the description, which is his original link. And I'm still totally original Selfway Segway outro. I, that didn't work. Uh, just like every episode, find some news. Links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description below. And you can check out this entire video in the form of a news article on farmsofnews.com thanks to Yoast Modding. Remember, there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod is going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, it just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. So hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. So I went to go see the advertiser friendly bear movie yesterday. It was stupid and awesome.